Dear friends, good morning and welcome to Friday Focus on the 4th of June. Well, the good news is that we can now seat 130 people in St Matt's. The rule of six means that we can sit in larger groups at our services, as well as leaving some singles and doubles for those who would rather sit further apart. So don't hold back. Do join us on Sunday for our communion service at 10 o'clock or morning prayer at the Minster at 11 or 6.30, where we're continuing our series on rebuilding the city in Nehemiah. We are having a church picnic in the Minster Churchyard after our morning services on Sunday, so please come to the 11 o'clock or the 10 o'clock with the picnic. We'll meet in the churchyard after the 10 o'clock with the 11 o'clock joining us when they finish. And if you're part of the 6.30 congregation, come and join us as well. Don't forget to bring chairs and rugs to sit on. We are beginning to plan a few social events over the summer. So Nicola and I would love to invite you to cream tea at the rectory in the garden on Saturday the 3rd of July from 2 o'clock to 6 o'clock, but in hourly slots because we can only accommodate 30 people in the garden and we might be limited to 30 people anyway um, by then. So please let Jill Sage know if you'd like to join us for tea and what hour you would like to sign up for. Her email address is in the daily update. Advance notice of a church day out on a local farm north of Cheltenham on sun Sunday the 5th of September. We'll head over to the farm after our morning services for a hog roast or a veggie alternative. Then there'll be family games, a walk, tea, and we'll finish with an outdoor service. Incidentally, that is also the date of the Cheltenham Half Marathon when we are planning to offer refreshments outside the church as we did a couple of years ago. But do save the date for the church day out, Sunday the 5th of September. Please don't forget the ministry opportunities that I mentioned last week. I have to say I haven't had a great take up and uh, we really do need more help with these things. Uh, Sunday Club leaders and helpers, please contact Jane for more details via the church website. We don't have enough people at the 10 o'clock or the 11 o'clock for the coffee rotor. Could you help? Uh, if so, contact the church office. And we're recruiting a new reception team to welcome visitors and to man the porch at St Matthew's when we're allowed to open up. Again, contact the church office for a job description. And then finally, a note from Simon. On the 17th of June, I'll be going to a Bishop's Advisory Panel and I'm hoping to be recommended for ordination training starting in September with a placement at St Matt's. I'm looking forward to the BAPS slightly apprehensively as it's only one day and on Zoom. But I'm so grateful knowing that lots of the church family are already praying for us through this exciting time of discernment and pleased that we'll be able to stay in Cheltenham. So please do pray for Simon and Annie. God bless you today.